today we're gonna look at how you can make this rain effect in five minutes without using images or a particle system. Start off by choosing the texture you want the rain effect to work on and if you're working with Eevee disconnect the uh, displacement. Start off by making a noise texture with higher contrast by using a color ramp. The white spots will be the spots where the rain will land so you will have to mess around with that scale it up and you got uh, the rain spots um, you can tweak the roughness and detail and distortion however you want your rain to look and once you've done that you can add it into your texture by using a math node on add just plug it in with the texture and you've got your rain uh, droplets where they hit the ground. Animate the position of the texture by using a mapping node and that way you get the uh, splash effects. Insert a keyframe on frame 0 and a keyframe on frame 40 with two different locations for the noise. Now for the roughness, so the wet spots that it will make, you will use the same uh, noise texture and flip the color ramp and make sure that the spots are black instead of white this time and give it some detail so that it's not all pitch black but a little bit of fall off so that you get nicer uh, wetness. Uh, you can mix it in with the roughness of the texture. So put the texture roughness in and the um, noise texture and set it to multiply in this case multiply it all the way so the factor set to 1 so that it's multiplied and now you can add a bump node uh, to use the roughness map you just made for the bump as well so the dark spots will be bumpy um, so that's the raindrop that comes out a little bit now you see we got a little bit of a weird texture situation here. Make sure to disconnect the displacement and mess with the distance on the bump node to get a little bit more of a nice look. Uh, you can also tweak the color ramp that you use for the roughness and bump to make it exactly what you need. So this is the noise texture for roughness and bump that I'm tweaking. And as you can see, I uh, plugged it in from the same noise texture. Make it a group by selecting everything, right clicking and make group. And that way you've got your rain group, rename the output. So the upper output will be the uh, white uh, color for the drop where the droplets hit and the um, one underneath will be the roughness and the height input. Um, so once you've done that you've got your group for rain and that's how easy it is but the ground still doesn't look wet so to make it more um, look uh, wet like it's really raining you need to make the roughness of the texture darker as well just a simple color ramp and increase the black value and you can also put this same texture into the bump so that the uh, spots that are wet, uh, what you can see now, also get a, a bump so that it looks like it's really uh, something like a little puddle of water. As you can see, you see these little puddles now, that's nice. And they stay in their place. So now it's the, the ground's wet as well. You can change how much wetness it is with the ramp. And now you just gotta set up your scene so that it looks nice, whatever you want. And turn on all the settings from Eevee. Give the buildings, your other things in the scene a little bit of uh, wetness as well with the noise texture. Put in some random background. I did this really quick and messy and then set up your uh, output settings and render out the sequence. Once you got it rendered out you can put in a, um, uh, a video of rain 
I got it from a footage crate. It has a lot of free um, VFX. So I got this normal rain VFX overlay and I put it into a mix node that's set to screen and then put the vector all the way up, render it out and you've got your rain effect. You can put this rain effect on pretty much any object, be creative with it and um, for the rain effect that you put over it afterwards you can also use editing software to make it a little bit better. I didn't make the scene look like it's actually raining, it's pretty bright outside so uh, it doesn't really work that well. So you gotta try and make it a uh, scene with a nice uh, rainy mood or something and uh, maybe make it a little bit darker. Um, so good luck, thanks for watching and uh, maybe till next time.